Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a brand new in the Carter Forgot About. I do these videos every single week here on my channel and they're basically my version of a will I buy it. So I talk about the new makeup products that are coming out. It's kind of like an anti-haul and wish list, like all in one video. I always get these ideas for these from Samantha Mart. She does this series called Will I Buy It on her channel every single Wednesday. So I will have her channel linked down below so you guys can check out her videos. And and if you're ready to hear my thoughts on some of these new makeup launches, let's go ahead and get started. that if you guys like this eye look right here, I used the Artistry palette from James Charles. I will have my review up on that palette tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see like a tutorial on this makeup look, then make sure you come back tomorrow to see that. But let's go ahead and get started with some of these new releases. First up, we got a new palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is actually a Zodiac palette again. I feel like Zodiac has been very in this year. So they are going to have their Zodiac palette. It's going to have 24 different colors in there and also a highlighter as well. It will be a limited edition and 19 50 is the limited edition launch price and then the original price is going to be $24. So it looks like if you get it like around the launch date, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So this, it looks like it's going to be their baked formula um, from what I'm seeing in the pictures. So it looks like you have like their mattes and then you have some of their baked and then you have like that highlight in the middle. And I used to have, I think it was their Galaxy palette, I want to say, and that has like all baked eyeshadows in it. And I did really like the formula of that. And then we also have the mattes around it. I do think it's a pretty nice palette. I like that it has a lot of different tones. You have like some warmers, you have some pinks, the blue in there. Um, I've been really into BH Cosmetics palettes lately. I feel like they're such good quality for a really affordable price. And I don't know, I might swatch this one in Ulta. It definitely like sparked my interest, especially the swatches look really pretty of it. Um, I don't know if I feel like I need it necessarily, but it definitely like piqued my interest. I think I might go ahead and swatch it like I said at Ulta and see what I think. Um, let me know down below though if you guys want to see me like review this one if you want me to purchase it early so I can review it for you guys definitely let me know. So up next from Colourpop we have their holiday collection so we have a bunch of new products in their holiday release. So we have first an eyeshadow palette this is the Chasing Rainbows eyeshadow palette it's going to be $20. We also have a highlighting palette we also have some super super shock highlights and then we also have some lip products we also have some of their um, shock eyeshadows. There's some more of those glitters that they came out with with the Bretman Rock. There's some new colors of those. And then I believe there are also some new um, liquid eyeshadows as well. So I feel like I, the collection looks really pretty. I love the idea that it's kind of like this fun, like rainbowy theme for holidays instead of like, you know, what we normally see, like the very like blue and, you know, green looks. So I like that it's all very different. And I actually, the more I've seen swatches of these glitters, I actually want to try them out. I wasn't initially excited about them when I saw them in the Bretman collaboration, but then I actually seen like more swatches of them and they actually look really cool. So I would be curious to try out one of the glitters from them. And the eyeshadow palette looks really pretty. I don't know that I necessarily like need anything from this collection, but like I said, I like the idea of it being like a different holiday collection from them. So I don't know, I might try some of the glitters though. That's like kind of what piques my interest the most. Also, I love the Super Shock Cheek highlighters. So definitely love that they're coming out with more of those. Um, and the lip colors also look really, really pretty. So KKW Beauty, which is Kim Kardashian's makeup line, is coming out with a holiday release as well. This is going to be the Glam Bible. It says Smoky Volume 1, so I'm assuming they're going to expand that. And this is going to be $150. It includes a six-pan uh, eyeshadow palette, mascara, lashes, blush, highlighter, two lipsticks, a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and a lip liner. So this will be available on the 23rd of November. And I think it's cool that she's coming out with a kit that has like a lot in one. Those are definitely always good if you're looking to like give someone a set or something like that. I find it interesting that she has like everything now, like mascara, lashes. Um, she's definitely expanding a lot. The eyeshadow palette, like from what I'm seeing, looks a little kind of boring. Um, I don't know that I would need that. 
So I'm gonna skip over this altogether. I do think that if you're someone who is into Kim Kardashian or you know someone in your life that is, this would definitely be a nice set to get them because they get to try a bunch of her products. But for me, I'm definitely gonna pass over this one, but I find it interesting that she kinda has like everything now, like mascara and everything. I didn't realize she had all that. Anastasia Beverly Hills is actually coming out with a vault. I like talking about these vaults for the holiday season because I think you can get some really great deals with them. So they are actually coming out with their vault that is gonna have four different eyeshadow palettes in it for $90. It's gonna be a $168 value. So inside of it, you get the Prism palette, the Subculture palette, Modern Renaissance, and then the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette. All full size for only $90. That is an amazing deal. If you, if you are into Anastasia's palettes or if you know someone who loves eyeshadow palettes, you could always grab this. It also has this really cute box that it comes with as well. You could always grab this and actually gift them to different friends. Like say you wanted for yourself Modern Renaissance or something, you could always gift one to yourself. But it'd be a great value to get one and then gift it to like all four of your sisters or something like that. I think it's great. I think it's a really, really good deal. I actually already own all of these eyeshadow palettes. For me, um, I wouldn't need to get this, but I do really, really enjoy the Modern Renaissance and then also the Soft Glam. The Subculture palette, we all know about that, so that might not be something you're as excited about. I personally decluttered mine. And then the Prism palette, I do still have. I like it, it's not my favorite palette. Um, but I feel like just for Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam to get the other two and the really cute little box to put them all in, I think it's a great value. So we talked about KKW's holiday release, so we gotta talk about Kylie as well. She is dropping a new holiday collection. So this is the Baby It's Cold Outside collection. So we have in here a bunch of different products. She always releases so much, I feel like, in her releases. So we have a new eyeshadow palette. We have some blushes, some highlighters, um, some lippies. We also have some loose highlighters, some uh, lipsticks and then some glosses. There's a ton to this collection. I'm mostly just gonna talk about the eyeshadow palette. Um, I was kind of underwhelmed with this palette. I feel like there are a lot of tones in this palette too that are very similar. Um, like you have two different reds in there that look very similar. Also the mattes I feel like look pretty close to each other. I didn't really care much for this palette. The packaging, of course, is beautiful. Her packaging is always so great. I've been wanting to actually try some of her loose highlighters because I hear really good things about those. I personally, though, don't really use loose highlights in my collection too often, so that's kind of why I haven't purchased one. I don't know if I'll really get much use out of it, um, but I've heard really good things about them. I don't know, I just, uh, I feel like I'm just kind of uh, like over these such large collections all the time. They're just so overwhelming to me. Um, and I definitely don't think I need it. You can, if you want though, get the entire bundle for $375. So if you want to pick up everything, you can definitely do that. This is actually available now. So Trend Mood posted actually a new mask from Glow Recipe. This is going to be the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. And they do have that watermelon mask that everyone really loves. That's really popular from them. And so this one says, just like the name, it melts into your skin, it's pillow proof, has natural ingredients like honey, um, pyloridoxy acids, um, and overnight hydration. Looks like more of a creamy texture is what she's saying. So I would be kind of curious for this. I know avocado can be good for your skin. I actually have tried the watermelon mask and I didn't love it because of the scent. I feel like the scent on that mask was so, so strong. I didn't enjoy the way my skin looked, but I just couldn't get over how strong the scent was with that sleeping mask. It kind of irritated me when I was like trying to fall asleep. So I don't know if this one would be the same thing. I like the idea that this one's also like thicker too. It seems like I like personally going to bed with like a thick moisturizer on or a thick mask. So I think this one's really nice. It's probably going to be a bit pricey. I believe the glow mask is, it's not like the most expensive thing, but it's kind of pricey. They do have like sample sizes of that one. So I'll be curious to see if they come out with like a mini of this one. I would definitely try it if they had a mini. So we have just a couple more things to talk about this week. Uh, most of them are actually holiday releases. Pretty much everything this week I feel like is holiday. So we have a new eyeshadow palette from Melt Cosmetics and this is going to be the Smoke Sessions. I believe eyeshadow palette, it will be available on November 23rd. You can definitely 
definitely tell the vibe of this palette by the photo of what they're trying to go with with the smoke sessions there. Um, the actual tones of this eyeshadow palette are really, really pretty. I do think it's a really gorgeous palette. Um, it looks like it only has a couple mattes though. That's the thing that kind of like, ugh. Um, got me away from this. I wish it had just like maybe two more mattes and maybe it took away two of the shimmers. It does only have the two mattes and then you have the six shimmers in the palette. So I would just personally with those two mattes looking at this palette, I don't really know if I could create like a full look with it. I think I would need to go into another palette. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna pass over this one, but the shimmers look so pretty. I've never tried anything from Melt Cosmetics. I've always wanted to, but I've just never actually bit the bullet. Their stuff is a bit pricey, which is why I haven't purchased anything. But let me know if you guys are excited about this palette down in the comment section. So Laura Lee Los Angeles is coming out with a new holiday collection as well. She has some loose highlighters, um, some matte liquid lipsticks, and then we also have an eyeshadow palette. My cat is tapping on my door right now. <laughs> she must be hungry, so we gotta hurry. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything from this collection, not just with all of the drama with Laura Lee. Um, I try to kind of, for the most part, set all of that aside um, when I think about like the actual makeup products. But I just, I don't know, for some reason with her brand, I just find there not to be much cohesiveness when it comes to her brand and her packaging and things like that. Because I think, I don't know, like the highlighters look really pretty, the loose highlighters do. But when it comes to the eyeshadow palette, it is the same as her minis, like the Party Animal and I can't remember the other one, but she had another one. And it looks like that kind of, but the colors inside of it are just very, I don't know. Like I just get a weird vibe from it. It doesn't really, I don't really know how I would create a look with this palette, I guess. These shimmers look pretty, but then again, like the two mattes that are in there are mattes that I don't personally feel like I could create a look with. This is kind of a palette that you get and you still have to use another palette to go in with, which I don't always love doing. Um, I'm fine if it's like an all shimmer palette and I know I'm going into it for one shade, but when it's a palette that has a couple mattes, I don't understand why they can't be mattes that maybe you could create a look with, you know, like a more crease color and like a deeper or like a lighter red shade. Both of these just kind of, I don't know how I would really create a look with this. So for that, I'm definitely gonna pass over this collection from her. And then we have another holiday collection, which is the last thing we're gonna talk about. So this is actually from Mac and Patrick Starr. They are collaborating again, which is awesome. So it was one year ago, Patrick Starr did his first collaboration with Mac. They had their first holiday collection. So it's really great to see that he's came out with so, so many collections with Mac. So that's awesome. So we have in it a couple different eyeshadow palettes. We have some lipsticks, we have some lip glosses. We also have some eye pigments, which is cool. And then I think one of like those powdery puff um, highlights as well, like one of those baked, I don't know how to explain them, but one of the powder puffs that have like the glitter, I think is what's in this collection. So I love, love, love the eyeshadow palettes for this. Why I love them is because they are a longer palette. That is one of my cons with the um, Mac and Patrick Star collaborations like that we've had prior to this is that they are just those small little quads, which I do like and I feel like you can create looks with, but it's definitely a certain look that you only can get with those quads, like maybe two looks out of them with the different shades. And these have um, six eyeshadows in them instead. So you get those few more colors to where I feel like you could kind of get multiple, multiple looks out of them. Both of the palettes look nice. You have like a neutral one and then you have more of one that has like, um, a green in there and like a lighter blue it looks like. So the palettes look pretty. They're nothing like out of this world, like I feel like I need them, um, but they do look nice. I also like the idea that they're coming out with the highlighter with this one. And I love the packaging with the red. It looks very, very pretty. So I'm definitely curious about this collection. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting anything from it um, or if I need anything personally in my collection. It's gonna be limited edition like the rest of his other releases. Um, but definitely excited for him that he is doing more with Mac. But after that, that is going to do it for this week's In the Card or Forgot About. Do let me know down in the comment section what products you guys are most excited about or what products you guys aren't so excited about. I would love to know. I always have so much fun chatting with you guys in these videos about what you guys think of these releases. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.